And cue that intro now because <laughs> the doctor is in and today the subject is kicking the empty calorie habit. Okay, next time we'll have the intro. Hey, those empty calories are a filler food that keeps you feeling full while offering little nutritional value. Short term, these empty calories, they're great, but their glory is short lived when they leave you with disease and obesity. So. How to eat healthier and not fill up on those empty calories? Well, joining us today is Dr. Scott Ackerman, one of the First Coast's leading doctors. He is joining us every week to discuss a variety of health topics. Welcome back, Dr. Ackerman. Thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you, Casey. So we're going to break this all down because when we talk about eating healthy, we got to figure out what exactly does that mean? And I'm sure a lot of your patients ask you, how do I he eat healthy? Absolutely, Casey. You know, in the news these days, we hear a lot about obesity. I think this past week, there's been lots of news stories. We know that two in three adults are obese. We know that one in three children are obese. And so lately, a lot of patients have asked me exactly that. What can we do to minimize obesity? And what's obesity uh, going to, you know, what, and why do I want to uh, be slim? And um, I tell my patients that you want to avoid obesity because not only do you want to maintain a healthy weight to feel better, you also want to try to, um, being at a healthier weight will, will reduce your risk of a lot of diseases and, and cancer as well. Uh, we know that, that uh, other than smoking, obesity contributes to more cancers than any other, than other, than any other thing. Yeah. So uh, maintaining an appropriate weight is very important. Yeah, and it's preventable. If we, we can prevent obesity if we just eat the right things. So what types of food should I look for? Well, you want to make good choices and look at foods as a whole. You want to try to eat foods that are high in protein, that are low in simple carbohydrates, eat foods that are high in complex carbohydrates, eat foods that are high in fiber, High fiber foods, Casey, help you with digestion, and they also uh, help minimize your risk of cancers as well. Uh, low fat, especially those trans fats, you want to avoid trans fats. And as I said before, low, low in sugar, especially the simple sugars, you want to avoid those. And I was just going to ask you, what are some healthy food swap outs? Because I, we have some great foods in front of us, and of course, what do I go towards? I eye the chips <laughs> in front of me, which is not what you're supposed to do. But give us an idea of some of the foods that we should be swapping out for others. Well, I brought lots of foods here today <clears throat> to demonstrate for you. And yes, in front of you are all these great foods that we all love. There's some cookies and potato chips and some, and some sports drink. And, and what you need to think about is you need to look at the foods you're eating and, and, and think about eating something that's a little bit more healthy, a little bit more well-rounded. So for instance, you have some cookies in front of you here. I love cookies. Yes. There's some chocolate chip and there's some oatmeal raisin. They're great cookies. But, in, but those cookies are high in fat, they're high in sugars, and they don't have a whole lot of nutritional value. Yeah. So instead, try a fig bar. These fig bars are great. They're all natural. They only have a very, very little bit of fat. The, the carbohydrates in them are complex. They come from the figs themselves, and they're whole wheat as well, and the, so they're good for digestion. Over here in front of you, you have potato chips. Potato chips are salt and fat and a potato. Yeah, nothing, nothing really good about <laughs> yeah, them. Nothing good. They Salt, good, fat, and potato. That's about it. Here's some popcorn. This is air popped popcorn. There's no fat in that. You, if you instead of salt, I brought some nutritional yeast today. You can try some if you nutritional want. Nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast. You put it on there, kind of like, like salt and pepper, and it makes it taste a little bit cheesy. Huh. Oh yeah. Pretty good, huh? Oh well, yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. So that's a good alternative to no salt, no right, no, no salt, no butter, no nothing. No fat, just air pop popcorn. Has a little bit of fiber in it. That's really good. Good stuff. So here's sports drink. Sports drinks are great if you're a sports person. Sure. If you're playing football or running a marathon or whatever, playing tennis, these are great because they have the sugars in them to replenish your, your glucose and also some electrolytes in them as well to replenish your electrolytes. But you don't need all that. It's really all sugar. So most people are not doing sports when they drink this. They're sitting on the couch, they're watching TV, whatever they're doing. Instead, try something nice like coconut water. Coconut water is great. It, the, the sugars it has in it are natural, very low in sugar, high in potassium. It also has the electrolytes in it as well. Coconut water is a great, a great thing for sports or just for casual. And that's good to know because you see these popping up a lot now, especially mm -hmm. in gas stations. You know, they have coconut water is a, another option. It's good to know it's healthy. And you can just take a coconut and cut the top off. It's the same thing. Oh, good stuff. And also fruits. Yeah. Fruits are great. Fruits and vegetables are all great. These fruits are all high in fiber. Um, they're high in uh, bananas are high in potassium. And I think the one other thing I have here is water. Remember, hydrate. Mm -hmm. Drink your water all during the day. 
Water helps to, helps you aid in digestion. There's no calories in water. I know. It'll help you stay fit. It's a free food and it's good. Um, okay, so what about portion size too? Because you know you look at all of this stuff and it's really good. But if you're eating a bowl of popcorn that's about yay big, mm -hmm. you know it's not exactly the best thing for you. So how do you kind of measure that? I'm guilty of this as well. I like to open up a thing of, of, of nuts, of cashews, or almonds. I have a big jar. I wind up opening it and I cannot stop. So instead, try to portion control. If you know you're going to be hungry at work the next day, the night before, put a small baggie, not the full sandwich size, a little snack pack baggie, of some nuts or something that's healthy, some of these uh, fig bars in that. That way, when you're done, you're done. If you were to open the, if you see this plate, this is a whole box of these fig bars. You only need two or three. So if you portion control it, you'll eat properly. But be careful because some of these things that maybe are pre-portion controlled, like those 100 calorie snack packs. A little misleading, huh? Very misleading because those 100 calorie snack packs are all sugar and they're all fat. They're cookies in there. Some of them, however, are okay. There's some nuts that are nutritional nuts that come in small, in small packages. I like those because, again, I open those big jars and I can go all day. Yeah. So those little uh, snack packs of nuts are real good for you. All right. Well, we've run out of time, Dr. Ackerman. But thank mm -hmm. you so much. We appreciate you being here for your insight and, of course, for sponsoring the segment. And remember, Dr. Ackerman is with us every Friday. So what are we talking about next week as Nick comes in here? And at least you're going for the healthy option. That's a good thing. So next week right. we're also These talking about, um, there you go. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Nick. We appreciate Good you being stuff. here. I'll take the chips when we're done. But we're going to talk about pregnancy, though, and we're talking about eating healthy, but we're going to talk next week about eating healthy for two. Right. Health, not just uh, eating healthy during pregnancy, but exercises you could do, all sorts of things you can do to stay healthy during pregnancy. Great. And I'll bring Great. a special guest. All right. Thank you so much. Well, if you have any <laughs> questions regarding this topic or any other health questions, you can visit firstcoastoncology.com, and you will be able to confidentially submit your questions to Ask the Doctor.